بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Dear students assalamu alaikum and welcome to the course of language teaching methodologies Today the topic of our discussion is audio lingual method and this is in the part 2 of series on audio lingual method I am your teacher Muhammad Asif Khan lecturer department of english kohat university of science and technology discussion agenda for today's class is that first of all i will revise the main features of method then we will study the role of teacher and learner in language teaching we will also discuss the advantages and disadvantages of uh, audio lingual method and uh, in the end i will discuss the common activities that are being used in audio lingual method starting with the, the main features of uh, audio lingual method brook describe following a principle in using audio lingual methods and these very principles are the general features we see that in audio lingual method the teacher is uh, modeling all the learning activities or he is the one who is presenting all these very things to the learners and uh, in this method we see that uh, there is uh, subordination of the mother tongue or the first language to the second uh, language while the student or the learner is uh, learning a new language initially in audio lingual method we see that there is uh, a continued training of the ear or the listening without any choice uh, to the graphic symbols it means that uh, initially students are taught uh, listening and speaking skills and there is no introduction of uh, the reading and writing skills so in, in audio lingual method basically there is uh, learning of structures through the practice of patterns of uh, sounds and we also see the study of uh, the patterns of orders and forms and uh, there is no explanation for these very patterns students are just practicing these very patterns without knowing the explanation of these rules and regulations and uh, later on as i told you that uh, in the initial stage we see the training of ear and tongue then uh, we see that there is gradual substitution of uh, the graphic symbols for the sounds after sounds are thoroughly known initially listening and speaking is developed and uh, later on we see the introduction of uh, the graphic symbols that is uh, the written symbols which are being read by the learner and then he is uh, given uh, that uh, skill of writing that language if uh, the structure of the language of the mother tongue is different from that very structure of the student's language then we have to summarize those concepts to the students but this very thing is being done in the advanced level another implication of this method is that there is shortening of time span between a performance and uh, the pronouncement of its rightness or wrongness because uh, the reinforcement is uh, very immediately being done without interrupting the responses teacher is not interrupting the response he just uh, tell them the right answer and in this way the students uh, they correct themselves so this enhances uh, the factor of reinforcement in the learning and uh, we see that uh, vocabulary is uh, not uh, introduced uh, in the initial stage uh, on the broader or expanded level and there is a minimizing of vocabulary until all the common structures have been learned by the learner or the student the study of vocabulary is uh, contextual and uh, the new concepts are uh, being introduced uh, to the students in context so the most important thing is that continuous practice in the use of language only in the fixed form of speaker learner situation is being used in this very method that is the audio lingual method now let's move uh, towards uh, the role of the teacher in the audio lingual method in this method the teacher role is central and he is playing the active role because uh, it is uh, the teacher who dominates uh, this method 
so he is the model of the target language and uh, he controls uh, the direction of uh, the learning and he also controls the pace of learning so he is the one who monitors uh, the activities uh, of the learners and if they are making mistakes he corrects the learners performance so the teacher must keep learners attentive it is uh, the role of the teacher and uh, he can do this uh, by giving uh, variety in uh, the drills and the task and uh, he should uh, choose uh, relevant situation to practice structures so language learning is seen to result from the active verbal interaction between the teacher and the learner so he is having the central and active role some other key concepts about the role of the teacher in audio lingual method are expressed by the brook and brook argues that teacher must be trained to do the following things the first thing is that he introduce sustain and harmonize the learning of the four skills in this order and the order is hearing speaking reading and writing the second thing is uh, that uh, he should decide the use and not use of uh, the first language in the classroom he has to decide this very thing because he is uh, the one who model the various type of language behaviors to the student that they have to learn so he is the one who teach uh, uh, spoken language in dialect form and he directs uh, the vocal responses from all of the students and from all parts of the class so teacher teaches the use of structures through patterns and practices and he guide the students in choosing and learning vocabulary he also argues that uh, teacher should show how words relate to meaning in the target language so teacher is the one who get the individual student to talk he is the one who include all the students in the discussion and reward uh, the student in such a way that learning is reinforced so these are some of uh, the characters uh, that uh, the teacher has to play in the class and uh, teacher is the one who formalize on the first day the rules according to which the language class is to be conducted and he is the one who in all these very rules in the class so these are some of the roles which the teacher play in audio lingual method now let's move towards the role of learner in the audio lingual method we see that learners are viewed as organisms that can be directed by skill training techniques to produce correct responses here the students are like an organism that can learn any skill with the help of correct responses so in accordance with the, the behaviorist uh, language theory we see that teaching focuses on the external manifestation of learning rather than on the internal processes as we see in the grammar translation method where cognition is a process that is uh, going on uh, within the brain so here behaviorists uh, are linking the language learning as external manifestation of the learning so learner plays a reactive role by responding to the stimuli and thus have the little control over the content over the pace or the style of the learning so they are not encouraged to initiate interactions because uh, if uh, a student initiate interaction it is believed uh, by these very theorists that uh, this may lead to the mistake and we see that it will develop a bad habit another fact is that uh, in the early stage we see that learners do not always understand the meaning of what they are repeating and it is not uh, perceived uh, as a drawback for by listening to teacher imitating accurately what the teacher is saying and responding to and uh, performing control tasks they are learning a new form of verbal behavior according to the behavior so th this is the role that he is uh, reactive and uh, he is uh, just uh, following the instructions that are being provided by the teacher so he is uh, not uh, interacting in that way he is just reacting and uh, responding to the stimulus 
and because of the reinforcement that is coming either from inside or outside it develops or uh, new habits and these very habits are in the form of uh, learning of new skills of the language so now let's move towards uh, the advantages and disadvantages of audio lingual method it is uh, the first method that has a proper theory behind it so this method uh, audio lingual method has structural linguistic theory behind it and this very method is also based on psychological theory that is uh, the behaviorist theory so it was the first method to have a theory and it made language learning accessible to a large group of ordinary learners this method is uh, as functional and easy to execute for the large groups so this is one of the advantages that we can apply this method in the crowded classes on the other hand listening and speaking are emphasized and these very skills are rigorously developed so another advantage of uh, this method is that we see the use of uh, visual aids uh, and especially these very visual aids are used in the vocabulary teaching correct pronunciation is very important uh, in the audio lingual method and uh, that is one of the advantage of this method that uh, the students have uh, correct pronunciations and um, they master the structures of that language so it was uh, the first method that lay stress on the development of uh, language syntax before that uh, there is uh, other methods which were preoccupied with morphology and vocabulary here we see that syntax of the language is uh, the most important uh, point uh, which is being focused by the theorist of audio lingual method this method uh, has uh, some disadvantages and we are going to discuss these very disadvantages the behaviorist approach to learning is now discredited and uh, many uh, scholars have proven its weaknesses so this is one of the disadvantage uh, and because uh, behaviorist uh, learning theory is the theory behind this very method and when that uh, theory is discredited it means that audio lingual method is discredited and in this method we see that uh, it does not pay sufficient attention to the communicative competence the speaking ability is developed in the student but the communicative competence of the student is not developed in this very method and sometimes students fail when they are uh, communicating with someone another disadvantage of this method is that uh, only language forms are considered in this very method and uh, initially we see that meanings are neglected so equal importance is not given to all four skills that is one of the disadvantage uh, we see initially listening and speaking is emphasized and later on reading and writing is included in this method and these very skills uh, are even then not that much stressed as the other two skills are emphasized another disadvantage of uh, this method is that it is teacher dominated method and uh, we see that it is a mechanical method since it demands pattern practices and we see drills in it and uh, it is the method in which we see that uh, memorization is more important uh, than the functional learning and uh, the organic use of uh, the language so uh, it is uh, based on the practices drills and memorization and the functional aspect is often neglected and uh, we see another disadvantage of uh, this method is that the learner is in the passive role and he is having very little control over their learning so there is no creativity in this method and we see students repeat and memorize what they do not understand and uh, sometimes these very drills that are being used in this method they become dull boring and they cause fatigue in the students so we see that uh, students get bored with this method so these are some of the disadvantages of this method now let's move uh, towards uh, some of the activities that are being used uh, in this math i will list uh, the important techniques uh, and uh, give you a little bit explanation of these very activities 
the first activity which I am going to describe is that of repetition. We see that uh, the students repeat an utterance as soon as they hear that utterance from the teacher or any other source and uh, they repeat that uh, very utterance without looking at the printed material. When a student repeat an utterance, he may repeat it again and he has uh, that much choice that he can add a few words. For example, if uh, the teacher says, I used to know him, the student will repeat the same thing, I used to know him, and later on he can add some more words uh, with the, the first utterance like, I used to know him years ago. Uh, so that repetition is one of the activities used in the audiolingual method. Another activity is of inflection where one word in a sentence appears in another form when repeated. For example, I bought the ticket and students change or inflect one of the words in another form when he repeats that very thing. And we see that I bought the tickets. Here the student added S with the ticket. And in this way, one word in the sentence appear in another form when student repeated that very thing. So this is uh, inflection. In the same way, um, students can make replacements where one word is replaced by another word. For example, he bought this house cheap. When student uh, will repeat this very sentence, he replace one of uh, the word in this very sentence and student can say this uh, sentence being told by the teacher in this way, he bought it cheap. So here student changed or replaced the word this house with it. So this very activity is called replacement. Another activity in audiolingual method is that of restatement. The student rephrase an utterance and addresses it to someone else according to the instructions that are being provided by either teacher or that very source from where the instructions are coming. For example, the teacher says, tell him to wait for you. And the student rephrase that very utterance and he says that, wait for me. So here, student is rephrasing that utterance. He is not repeating the same words that are being told by the teacher. He is rephrasing that utterance that is coming from the source. So tell him to wait for you. And the student is restating that very thing in a different way. Wait for me. So that very activity is called restatement. Completion is another activity that is being used in uh, this method. Student hears an utterance that is uh, complete except for one word and uh, we see that a student repeats the utterance in complete form. Example is that I will go my way and you go and student uh, repeat uh, this uh, utterance uh, but he completes the sense of this very utterance. Uh, and uh, he can say, I will go my way and you go yours. So this is uh, completion. Another activity is uh, of uh, transposition. And uh, transposition means change in word order that is necessary when a word is added. For example, I am hurry. So, so am I. So am I. Here he is transpositioning. He is changing the word order where it is necessary. He is not saying that so I am hungry or so I am. He just transpositioned the or word order in this very sentence. Another activity is of contraction. A single word stands for a phrase or clause. Example is put your hand on the table. So instead of the phrase on the table, a student or a learner can use a single word and that is a pronoun, put your hand there. So instead of on the table, that is a phrase, he has used a single word that is there. 
Now let's move uh, towards uh, another activity and that is of transformation. And we see that a sentence is transformed. In this activity, a sentence is transformed by being made negative or interrogative or through changes in the tense or mood or voice or we see that uh, other aspects or modalities uh, students make changes or transformations. For example, he knows my address and the student is being asked to make the negative of this very sentence and he says he does not know my address in the same way students are giving uh, the exercises uh, or the drills in which they integrate two sentences they have to integrate two separate uh, utterances for example they must be honest this is important we have uh, two separate utterances the first one is they must be honest and the second utterance is this is important and the student has to integrate these two utterances into a single sentence or a single integrated uh, utterance and that is for example it is important that they must be honest so and this is called the integration activity now let's see two other activities and uh, the first one is called rejoinders and student makes an appropriate rejoinder to a given pattern and usually we see that uh, students are told in advance to respond in one of the following ways for example student is being uh, told to give a polite response to this very statement or he has to answer the question or he has to agree or disagree with this very statement or he has to express surprise over um, the statement being uttered by by the teacher for example if the teacher says thank you and he has to politely respond to this very statement then the student will say you are welcome and uh, if the teacher asks the question what is your name and uh, the student is being told to answer the question then he will simply say that my name is dash whatever is his name so in this very activity is called rejoinders where the student makes an appropriate rejoinders to the given pattern and uh, the last activity which i am describing here is that of restoration and uh, restoration is one of the most common pattern that is uh, found in the textbooks of the audio lingual method and we see that student is given a sequence of words that have been pulled from a sentence but still keep the meaning the main aim of this exercise is to build the sentence using the word sequence for example if the students are being given the words kids waiting school bus and these very uh, words uh, are pulled from a sentence and the students have to make a complete sentence out of these very words and a student uh, or a learner can make a sentence like kids are waiting for the school bus so out of these very words kids waiting school bus student can make a complete sentence and that can be kids are waiting for the school bus in the same way dialogues which students have to listen repeat and memorize focusing on the proper pronunciation and intonation stress and and rhythm usages they provide the structure and idea of how to use some type of patterns in some sort of situations so these very dialogues are very important in audio lingual method from the very beginning and we see that uh, this is one of the way in which uh, the new vocabulary is being introduced and uh, we see that uh, these dialogues uh, usually illustrate socio cultural uh, situations of the target language so these are some of the activities which we discussed here and uh, in today's lecture we revise the main features of uh, the audio lingual method and uh, we studied the role of teacher and learner in this method we also studied the advantages uh, and disadvantages and uh, in the end i have given you some of the most important activities that are being used by audio lingual method practitioners 
so i hope that now you will be very much clear about uh, audio lingual method thank you very much for listening passionately allah hafiz see you in the next lecture